Yeah, so Tasha, what do we have here? Well, here we have our Noelle obstetric mannequin. Uh, she gives birth, and we are right now are simulating an actual birth with Noelle. Uh, we are simulating a normal birth, so there's not going to be any complications with this one right now. But this will at least give you some idea of what she can do when she's delivering a baby. Okay, great. So I'm going to turn her on right now for you. Uh, this should take about two minutes. Uh, we're doing a very fast birth at the moment. Uh, but as you can see, the motor that's attached to Noelle is pushing the baby out. Uh, we can turn the baby in any angle. We can also simulate a breech delivery where the baby is upside down. We can do shoulder dystocia deliveries where the shoulder actually does get stuck in the birth canal, um, which can create a crisis situation, which is nice for our teams to train on. Even though it doesn't happen very often, uh, we like to make sure that our, our staff is trained in how to handle shoulder dystocia deliveries. Uh, she can also do postpartum hemorrhaging as well. So we really have the opportunity with her to do a number of different scenarios. Um, that are all crisis scenarios where we can train our teams to make sure that they know exactly what to do and what procedures to follow when they come across a crisis like this. Yeah. So now it's a tablet PC over there that you've got that's controlling It is. It's a wireless tablet. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, I noticed earlier, it's running uh, Windows XP and it's a motion computing tablet? It is. It is. And here right now we are on the labor screen and this will actually show you the progression of the labor in which uh, stage of labor that she is in. Right now she's just entering active labor as you can see down here on the bottom. So we're going to have a little bit more movement and the baby's going to be pushed out a little bit faster from here on out. She also can, can talk as well. So if I go to the speech tab, I can have her do some pushing. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Uh, she can tell you that she's in pain. You can ask for an epidural. Uh -huh. So the idea is just to make it as realistic as possible. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we also have a microphone that is attached to her that, you know, if, if somebody asks a question that we don't have a preset speech pattern for, we can uh, speak for her. Okay. Interesting. And you said that's a specialized application that's uh, created by the manufacturer of the mannequin. It is. Mm-hmm. There he goes. Yep. The baby's going through the birth canal. Mm -hmm. And then we'd obviously grab the baby on the other end. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Great. Well, thanks very much for showing sure. us that. Sure. I'm happy to do